Welcome to Angel Strings Volume 1, Audic's brand new orchestral strings library, introducing articulations and techniques which have never been sampled before and pushing others that have even further. There are many things which make Angel Strings special when it comes to string libraries. We'll start out by looking at the interface. Angel Strings Volume 1 is made up of three main NKI files, runs and tremolos. This allows you to play sequenced, fast, alternate bowed measured tremolo by holding down notes and chords, which will lock into your door's tempo, as well as play bowed runs with your controller. SFX, where you will find the more gritty atonal articulations, which will serve hybrid electronic orchestral and horror themed music very well. And tonal longs and shorts, which contain the more nice and lush sounding articulations. We'll go straight into the SFX NKI to start with, and straight away you can see here we have two tabs. The first tab, which opens up, shows you your articulations, which can be changed by clicking on the icons or by pressing their respective key on your MIDI controller. To change an articulation's key switch key on your keyboard, click the little keyboard below an articulation and then press the key on your controller, which you want to set the key switch to. Some articulations have S start sliders. These are simple sample start sliders, which allow you to set the articulation so that when you play a key, it starts playing further on in the sample. This is useful for chopping or shortening slides and glides in the samples to taste. The second tab is where you will find your mixer. Here, you can turn on or off any of the 10 included mic positions and blend them to taste. You can also route each position to its own output from within contact. At the bottom, there is a filter and connected ADSR envelope, which you can use to add further elements of sound design to the instrument. We're going to take a look now at the Tonal Longs and Shorts NKI. Sus and Mark is your standard sustain patch. How hard you play will affect the attack of the note, with the highest velocity creating a harsh marcato and the softest creating a very long swell attack to the note. Cluster to Uni's articulation, which has two cross-fadable dynamic layers, is where every player starts on a different note, and they all then glide together and land on the same note at the same time. Playing chords with this creates an amazing effect. Sultasto is an extremely lush and warm articulation created by playing with the bow very far from the bridge. Osk is a sort of synchronized bowed trill, sounding like a natural oscillation, a very unique and interesting effect. Sul Ponticello is the opposite of Sul Tasto. The bow is played very near the bridge, creating a harsh sound with loads of very intrusive harmonics. There is also a tremolo sulpont articulation. Bends are small synchronized slides, which get very interesting when mixed with tunes and chords. Really great for electronic orchestral hybrid music.
staccato articulation is a massive 15 round robin spiccato patch, which can sound quiet and intimate and apocalyptically huge. Finally, there is an alternative shorts articulation, a sultasto staccato patch, which ended up, unintentionally, sounding very baroque or classical. Let's take a look at some of the articulations in the SFX patch. We have here rises with different attacks, a smooth attack and a harsh one, sampled across every string section on every string. The dives, or dive bombs, are falling glissandos which land on the notes you play. Trem bridge and sus bridge are some very nasty sounding tones created by playing the small section of the string behind the bridge of the instrument. scratch tone is created by overpressing the strings. There are multiple dynamic layers here, cross-fadeable with the mod wheel. Percussive sounds include various taps and other knocks created with the instrument. Finally, we'll head over to the third and final NKI, the runs and tremolos. There are two articulations here. One is a simple bowed runs technique, which you play normally on your keyboard. It's a good alternative sound to the spiccato in the previous NKI if you want a slightly tighter sound. Then we have the timed tremolo articulation. If you select this articulation and hold down a chord, you'll hear that it will play the sequencer on the right. You can adjust the sliders, velocity for each step, as well as switch between four sequences via the buttons above. You can change the length of the sequence via the steps drop down menu and the time value of the steps in the drop down menu here. Something that makes this library indispensable to composers is that the entire string orchestra was recorded together over a single large keyboard range. During the recording sessions, the orchestration was carefully balanced to achieve this. But on top of all that, you can still use the spot mics in the mixer tab to zone in on single sections if you wish. Turn a section spots up all the way and everything else down and you can play that section on its own, completely isolated from the rest of the orchestra.